So here is one, of, one more from uh, collision, but it's a very simple problem. I think you can even select the answer without solving it also. Let me read it for you. A gun fires a small bullet with a kinetic energy of K and he has asked you to find out the kinetic energy of the recoil of the gun. So I think you can immediately say that it should be less than K. See because the recoiling of the gun will have a very very ordinary speed and you cannot expect the kinetic energy of the recoil of the gun to be any way comparable with the kinetic energy associated with the bullet. But still if you insist to solve this and really verify the answer, you can always go about conserving the momentum. Before you fired the bullet, what was exactly the momentum of the system? It was 0. So we will write it as initial momentum equal to 0. And when the question of writing the final momentum comes, you will have to write the final momentum of the system which involves bullet as well as gun. So I will write it as final momentum equals uh, say P, P of the bullet plus P of the gun, capital G for gun and B for bullet. Now we know the relationship between momentum and kinetic energy. So it is PB square divided by 2M is equal to kinetic energy K. I hope you agree here because the bullet was fired with a kinetic energy K. So what exactly was the momentum of the bullet is what I am trying to find out by this formula. And you get PB equal to 2MK under root. That gives you the momentum of the gun. So momentum of the gun will be minus momentum of the bullet because initial is 0. So if you equate these two, you get the momentum of the gun as minus momentum of the bullet which is nothing but minus under root of 2MK. Here the meaning of minus sign is that the gun will only recoil and its direction of motion will be opposite to that of the bullet. But the magnitude of the momentum of the gun will be under root of 2MK which is I think quite interesting to note there. The momentum of the bullet and the momentum of the gun are both same. But the kinetic energy of the gun and the kinetic energy of the bullet are not going to be same. Now let me try writing the kinetic energy associated with the gun making use of the same formula here. So momentum of the gun whole square divided by 2M. See here this was the mass of the bullet and now I am writing the mass of the gun as capital M. So PG square divided by 2M should be the kinetic energy associated with the gun which is E1. So if you write E1 it will be PG square which is 2MK divided by 2 capital M, 2 gets cancelled and this will be small m by capital M times K which means this ratio is less than 1. So something less than 1 multiplied by K will give you something less than K. That is what we had I think initially decided that if the kinetic energy of the bullet is K, the kinetic energy of recoil of the gun should be less than K and that is what we are getting here. So the correct answer is C and I hope you agree with this. So here is one more question uh, which is based on the importance of uh, free body diagram. Let me read it for you first. See a body of mass 0 0.05 kg is found to fall with an acceleration of 9.5 meters per second square. See it is not falling with 9.8 meters per second square as it is supposed to be. It is only 9.5 meters per second square. The opposing force of the air is to be found. So he has not neglected the air resistance there and he wants you to find out uh, the air resistance. So what we can do here is we can just draw a free body diagram of the mass which is falling and write the equation that is F equal to MA. We will immediately get the air resistance which is acting on the body. See this is the body here, its weight is acting vertically downwards which is MG and this is the opposing force F. As the name itself indicates it is opposing therefore if the body is falling downwards you are supposed to show it acting upwards. And the result is F equal to MA. Okay, but here I think the student will have one doubt as to whether to write it as MG minus F equal to MA 
or F minus mg is equal to ma. I don't know whether you people really have this doubt or not, but what I would advise you people is to always take the force in the direction of acceleration to be positive. Now here the body is falling with an acceleration of 9.5, which means the acceleration is downwards. Therefore kindly take mg to be positive, f to be negative and write it as m into a. So f will be equal to m into g minus a and that is 0 0.05 the mass given into g is 9.8 minus 9.5. 9.5 is the acceleration therefore 9.8 minus 9.5 will give you 0.3. So 0.3 into 0 0.05 will be uh, 0.015 newtons. So this is the force of air resistance and D is the correct option. So this is a very simple problem, but I think uh, enough could be spoken on it because I am very sure a lot of students have this particular confusion that when a particle is thrown upwards and it is moving upwards, say the acceleration due to gravity is acting downwards, but the, when the same particle is dropped down, I think most of them are of the opinion that the acceleration is acting upwards or the force is acting upwards and, and so on and so forth. So they certainly have a small confusion there. So let me make it very clear that irrespective of how you throw the particle, whether you throw the particle vertically upwards and it has the velocity vertically upwards right now or you throw the particle vertically downwards and it is moving downwards right now or even if you have projected the particle like a projectile motion, still the acceleration due to gravity or the gravitational force will be acting vertically downwards. So here that is the confusion that he has created for you people here to get confused. See this is a stone of some mass no problem. It has been thrown upwards and he is asking you to write down the direction and magnitude of the force acting on it even while it is moving upwards just to create a confusion. So what you can write is whether the particle is moving upwards or downwards the force should be equal to the gravitational force acting on the mass which is nothing but 0 0.05 kg multiplied by 9.8 which gives you 0 0.049. See mg is the force which is acting. We do not mind even if the velocity is upwards. So it is 0 0.05 multiplied by 9.8 which gives you 0 0.0 sorry 0 0.49. Or yeah, 0.49 newtons is the answer. But there are two options there, one is 0.49 upwards and one is 0.49 downwards. That is also just to create a confusion in your mind. As we have just decided that the force should be acting vertically downwards irrespective of whether the particle moves upwards or downwards. So the answer is 0.49 newtons downwards. So B is the correct option, not A.